Hey, uh, good afternoon. Uh, today I would like to go over a script I've been working on. Uh, basically it's an interactive SSH script that will allow you to enter the commands that you want to run on the device at the time you run the script. Um, had something like this in Python, thought it'd be kind of cool to have this in Go. So um, I'll demonstrate the script then I'll go over it. So the command, or I'm sorry, the script name is interactive SSH go. Uh, I'm going to run three commands, show IP interface brief, uh, let's see, show uh, version, and show IP route sum. Um, this would be really helpful in a lab setup or hell, just for an operation standpoint, being able to issue commands like this. Um, so I've enabled term link zero in order to get all of the output from the commands in the actual script itself. I didn't actually enter the command. I kind of hard coded that value to go in. Uh, let's see, you can also do configuration. So let's look at the interfaces. All right, I'll create loopback 70. So let's go back up here. Um, let's see, let's see. Okay, so basically, um, what this does is the way the script's written, uh, it takes the file name and then every value after that gets put into a large string. Then that string is broken up by these commas. These commas separate, allow the string to be separated into a slice. Then we just iterate through that slice to get line by line configuration or show commands. Um, so I'll open the script. Let's see. Uh, so I, this is this script was one that was previously used for multiple SSH commands, but the script previously had a section down here where I had a slice and just had statically put the commands in that I wanted to run. I removed that and I have since added strings uh, package. Um, I've added this and if any of you have read uh, the Donovan textbook um, you'll recognize this as the echo scripts. Um, anyhow, uh, basically this uh, syntax here uh, captures all of the string data after the file and this syntax right here uh, puts this string into a slice called commands. Uh, this right here will just print it to the screen so you can see it. Then down here uh, this iterates through the commands uh, ignoring the index value and just putting the actual value of what's in the slice in the actual standard input. Um, above this, I've hard coded the term link zero that I was talking about so you can actually see all the output. If there are page buffers, this, or if you don't have enough buffer space for a particular command, this is a good command to run to get it to scroll through so you can see all the output. So uh, down here, I also hard coded the exit uh, commands so that I can actually make sure I close the session. Um, it's pretty basic stuff. Uh, take a string, create a slice, use a for loop to iterate through each of those uh, elements in the slice, and that's that. So, like I said, um, I had one of these scripts in Python, Thought it was pretty cool, so I thought I'd try and make one for Go. 
and I've just found it uh, really helpful. So anyhow, that's that. Thanks.